Over the past 10 years, there's been a profound shift in the way we communicate and collaborate with each other. We see it in billion-dollar corporations and in the Arab Spring protest movements, in self-help forums in America and among rural farmers in Africa, in global campaign groups like Occupy, and in local community collectives. We're seeing knowledge shift from being something that used to trickle down from expert to novice, but now it's spread through peer-to-peer -peer networks. Knowledge used to be closely guarded, now it's common property. Companies used to disclose knowledge on a need-to-know basis. Now, the smarter ones don't have any secrets. Instead, they practice radical transparency. And the places where we used to acquire knowledge, schools, colleges, or libraries, are facing an uncertain future because learning is now borderless. We learn on forums, through Twitter, Facebook, and meetups, and it doesn't matter if we're face-to-face -face or on the opposite sides of the world. And it's not just knowledge we're exchanging. The new sharing economy means we now swap, trade, or pool stuff we use, and the stuff we don't, at a scale that was unimaginable a few years ago. In other words, we're realizing that we don't need the organizations that used to do all this for us. The technical name for this is disintermediation. We're cutting out the middlemen in almost everything we do, and dealing directly with each other. Going open has crept up on us, so we've not yet seen it for the global social movement that it's become. Going open is restoring our belief in each other, and it's helping us retake more control of our lives, improving our neighborhoods, or challenging foreign dictatorships. It's driven by a set of values and attitudes that make us feel better about each other, allowing us to rediscover trust, generosity, and empathy. But it's not all good news. The open movement has really taken off in the places where we socialize. In the places where we work and study, however, more of us are becoming disengaged. We're switching off because the openness and autonomy that we've come to expect socially is missing in all but the most innovative companies and colleges. Going open is irreversible. Now that we have more control over how we live, we're not likely to hand that power back. So it's not a question of whether our schools and workplaces become open, but when, and how we help them do it.